My name is Nadia Talib and I will... What's up guys? It's been Brian. Today... So I am Siti Aisyah Binti Mazin. So I'm Farida Kasi. My name is Azra Binti Alisha. And... Siti Aisha Binti Mazin. Today, my friends and I will discuss the topic on Mudarabah Financing between Quad Finance House and Qatar Islamic Bank. Let's get started. The first one is Qatar Islamic Bank. The bank was founded in 1982 and the headquarters in Qatar Doha is Quad Finance House or we call it KFH. It incorporated in 1977 as the first bank operate in accordance with the Islamic principle of Sharia. White Finance House has emerged as one of the leading Islamic banks in the world. KFH has business operation in Bahrain, Turkey, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, Malaysia, as well as FED in the United Arab Emirates, Oman, and Bangladesh. KFH was dubbed as the Harvard of Islamic Banks in 2007 issue of Forbes magazines. KFH earned global recognition, having received numerous prestigious and international awards. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Nadia Talib and I will present about the definition of Mudarabah Contract. Mudarabah Contract is a contract between capital provider which is the robberman and the entrepreneur which is the mudarib. The profit is based on profit sharing ratio and the loss only borne by the capital provider. The entrepreneur will bond the loss if they misconduct. Next, there are three types of Mudarabah Contract. Bilateral, multilateral, and two tier. Bilateral is one capital provider and one entrepreneur. Multilateral, at least two capital provider and one entrepreneur. And two tier is the entrepreneur hire another mudarib under another mudarabah contract. There are two principles of mudarabah, which are offer and acceptance and the capital. Capital can be in form of monetary and non monetary asset, but cannot be in form of debt and the capital must be paid to the mudarib in lump sum or by installment. Thank you, Nadia. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Azra Bita Nisha and today I will present about issue in Mudaraba. Alright, generally, Islamic financial institutions prefer to use their financing instruments such as Murabaha or buy Bitaman Ajil in their business activities compared to equity financing tools. Adversation and moral hazard problem are the reason why equity financing, especially Mudaraba, is less popular choice as the financing method in Islamic financial institutions. In reality, investment using Mudaraba, which is profit sharing, are very risky as the entrepreneur or Mudari often has more information about the proposed project and its profitability, which the Islamic bank does not usually have to assess. Hence, it's lead to imperfect information between the contracting parties. Meanwhile, Iqbal and Mavis in year 2019 discovered that entrepreneurs with below average profit favor equity contract after debt contract in order to maximize losses in case of failure. In contrast, managers with above average earning prefer to use debt financing in order to maximize their gains in case of success. What's up guys, it's been Brian. Today I would like to share about the basic preparation for Mudaraba financing for two banks. First, we look at the regulatory framework. For Kuwait Finance House, it prepared with MFRS, IFRS, and Companies Act 2016. For Qatar Islamic Bank, it is prepared with financial account standard issued by OFI and Qatar Central Bank regulation. For measurement, Kuwait Finance House is initially stated at fair value plus direct financialization cost and subsequent measurement is measured at amortized cost less in payment losses for Qatar Islamic Bank is measured at fair value less in payment allowance for functional and presentational currency Kuwait Finance House is stated at Ringgit Malaysia while Qatar Islamic Bank is stated stated in Qatari Riyal. For both banks, uh, they disclose the Budarama financing as an asset. That's all from me. Let's go to Ida. So hi, thank you Imran. So I'm Farah Kasi. I'm going to show you the financial statement from both banks which is Qatar and Kuwait. So let's start with Qatar first. So the Mudaraba financing is appear under asset which is categorized under financing asset. So in detail it appear under notes number 10 where the bank release all the financing that they has and the total financing. 
So next is for the Kuwait Bank. So here, this is the Kuwait Bank financial statement. It is same goes with Qatar where the Maduro financing is appear on their asset. And it's appear in notes number 12 on the detail for all the financing that the bank has and also the total financing. So now let's move to the analysis part. Based on this graph, you can see that both banks show decreasing trend whereby the amount of mineral financing is declined as they move forward. So let's look at this table. So from this table, you can see that 2014 recorded the highest amount of mineral financing. So um, you can see that the figure for Qatar are larger as compared to Kuwait. So this is maybe due to the year of establishment whereby Qatar was established in year 1982 while Kuwait was first command in French in Malaysia on 8 August 2005. Then, after 5 years, the amount of Mudarabah financing is declined whereby Qatar shows significant changes from year 2017 until year 2018 in which the amount of financing decreased by 499-927 Qatar Real whereas Kuwait decreased by 17319 Ringgit Malaysia. So that's all for the analysis, let's move to the recommendation part. As you all know, the problem regarding this Medora financing is it is less preferable as compared to other products. So we are going to recommend two solutions, which is the first one is we recommend the implementation of incentive compatible contract to allow more efficient disclosure of information between the contracting parties. So the agency theory is that, that the agent may not always act in the best interest of the financier. So therefore, the investor need to set appropriate incentive for the agent to earn higher return for the project. Now, let's move to the second recommendation, which is uh, in the contemporary practice, Shura have been suggested as one of the monetary mechanism to attain accountability, fairness, and transparency in the governance of Islamic cooperation. So through Shura, every party involved will participate in the discussion and will open the door for information to be discussed and delivered efficiently from the manager to the stakeholder. Thus, this will narrow down the asymmetry information to the venture. This is consistent with the spirit of Islam that emphasizes on the importance of trustworthiness and cooperative among Muslims. At the same time, it is to ensure that every activity and decision on the business venture, especially that based on Mudarabah contract, are mutually agreed by all parties involved before the realization of the contract as the capital provider cannot participate in the management activity. So therefore, Islamic Bank may use the uh, two recommendations that are recommended by us in order to make it more attractive and to be and to make it more profitable to the bank. So, so from us, thank you Madam for watching. So have a nice day!